Chicago opening statement set for Wednesday give prosecutors and R. Kelly's attorneys their first chance to address jurors directly about charges that accuse the R&B singer of enticing of minors for sex, producing child pornography and rigging his 2008 pornography trial. Both the prosecution and Kelly's legal team told the judge earlier in the week that they would like about an hour each to tell jurors about the kind of evidence they can expect to see and hear. The evidentiary stage of the trial is expected to last about a month. Kelly a jury of his peers. Prosecutors noted multiple African Americans had already made it onto the jury before the defense objected, and they argued their reasons for wanting to strike some had nothing to do with race. In one case, they said one older man appeared to have a hard time staying awake. Judge Harry Lennon Weber partially agreed with the defense, disallowing prosecutors from striking three blacks from the jury and restoring them. Watching it wasn't an automatic disqualification, as long as a would-be juror could assure Judge Lennon Weber they could still be impartial. Among the 12 jurors selected was a retired real estate agent who had one son who was a prosecutor and another son who is a defense attorney. Another juror was a librarian. Among those dismissed was a woman who said she had unfavorable views of police and judges in demand who said he didn't think the IRS should exist. One central focus of the trial will be on whether Kelly threatened and paid off a girl with whom he allegedly videotaped himself having sex when he was about 30 and she was no older than 14. That's the allegation underpinning another of the charges against Kelly, conspiracy to obstruct justice. Jurors in the 2008 child pornography trial acquitted Kelly, with some later explaining that they felt they had no choice because the girl did not testify. Instead, they will call her by a single pseudonym Jane. Kelly's lawyers suggested they could contest where some of his accusers were minors at the time Kelly is accused, if video recording or enticing them, Kelly, 55, already has already been sentenced by a New York federal judge to a 30-year prison term for a 2021 conviction on charges that he used his fame to sexually abuse other young fans. Kelly, who rose from poverty on Chicago's South Side to become a star singer, songwriter and producer, will be around 80 before qualifying for early release based on his sentence, imposed in New York, which he is appealing. Dot Kelly faces four counts of enticement of minors for sex, one each for four other accusers. They too are expected to testify. Two Kelly associates, Daryl McDavid and Milton Brown, are co-defendants at the Chicago trial. McDavid is accused of helping Kelly fix the 2008 trial, while Brown is charged with receiving child pornography. Like Kelly, they also have denied wrongdoing. Minor one is expected to testify that she was on video having sex with Kelly. The recording was at the heart of the month-long 2008 trial and was played for jurors almost every day. Prosecutors say Kelly threatened and sought to pay off minor one and her parents, so they won't testify in 2008. None of them did. 
Follow AP Legal Affairs writer Michael Tarm on Twitter at https colon slash slash Twitter. Calm Tarm.